Welcome to our new video where we're going to look at the rules of consecutive Sudoku. Consecutive Sudoku is a lovely Sudoku variant, but it's not seen that commonly in publications, so it may be one that you're not familiar with. Um, and I should say straight away, you can try this puzzle. Um, we will put the link to it in the description. Now, the rules of consecutive Sudoku are fairly straightforward. You must place the numbers from 1 to 9 once in each row, in each column, and in each 3x3 three three box, just like in standard Sudoku. And the grid also contains these little green uh, rectangles between pairs of squares, and these indicate that they are consecutive in value, hence the name consecutive Sudoku. And by consecutive, I simply mean that if one square contains a 2, then this must be a 1 or a 3, so it must be 1 less or 1 more. If that's a 6 there, then this must be a 5 or a 7. Um, and so let's just have a quick look at this top left box um, of the grid, as it contains quite a few consecutive symbols. So we see that this contains a 2, and it's actually consecutive in value to both of these neighbours, so they can each contain 1 and 3. This 6, again, this can be 5 or 7, but if you notice, there's a 7 here, so therefore this is actually a 5. Now, if we look at this square, we can see it's consecutive in value to this square, so if this contained a 1, then this would have to be a 2, that's the only option. A 1 can only be next to a 2, just like a 9 can only be next to an 8. And of course, that can't be a 2, because of this 2. So in fact, we can say with certainty that this is actually a 3, and this is the 1, and the only option now again can't be a 2, so that's a 4. And so we have 7, 8, and 9 in these squares. Now we can actually do slightly better than that. Of course, this can only be 8 or 9, because of the 7 in the row. And if you think about it, if you have a column, or any region, with three squares consecutively, then the middle one can't be a 1 or a 9, because if that was a 1, ignoring the 1 here, then these would both have to be 2s, which isn't possible. And if this was a 9, then again these would both have to be 8s, which would again break the rules of Sudoku. So that can't be a 9, because that's a 7 or an 8. Um, now the final thing to say that's very important is that all pairs of consecutive squares are marked in a consecutive Sudoku. So if there is not a bar there, then you know that the squares do not contain consecutive values. So for instance, this couldn't be 5 and 6, because if they were 5 and 6, then there'd have to be a bar mark there. 